Hi, everyone. My name is Charmaine Smith. I'm one of the co-founders of Infundo Consulting, and it's a real honor for me to be able to share some of my thoughts today around social entrepreneurship, sustainable development, and empowering marginalized communities. Infundo was founded as a consultancy in 2007 to facilitate partnerships for mutual benefit to communities and the businesses who recognize this as a critical role for the sustainability of their own livelihoods. In 2007, that's not the language they were using, but that's what we wanted to do. Because of our business positioning, we made the strategic decision to set up as a for-profit entity rather than a fundraising entity for donations. It provided greater alignment with our purpose and our positioning. We're a social enterprise. In 2007, very few businesses in South Africa and Africa understood the tangible links between business and community sustainability. They did it because it seemed to be the right thing to do. In South Africa, because of the past and our history, it was legislated to provide mechanisms for giving back and uplifting. But it was imposed through a scorecard and regulatory rather than a declaration of the link for mutual benefits. This is changing. The world is also starting to see the link between environmental sustainability and their own businesses. We positioned ourselves in 2007 as community impact and development practitioners because that's what industry understood. We provided, as now, the exact same services to support schools, small businesses and youth, and we resolved com community dynamics which block progress. We build relationships across the area which will in ensure stability and thriving for the people and growth of the economy in the area. We also provide technical specialist support for growing skills. We co-create solutions with the communities we work in. We work long term, thankfully our clients do as well, and we work at the pace and readiness of the community. We learn together and we walk together. In many of the communities that we're in, we've actually become like family. It's second homes for many of us. Due to the intent from the beginning that the community will always be the owners of the work that is done, we have partnerships rather than codependence. This has never been about us. And we, when, when people say to us in the community, thanks for all the support, but we actually did the work, it's, it was because of us, we know we're on track. Now that we've proved the model and there's more readiness for adoption as overt mutual beneficiation, we have now repositioned the business in the following way. We have open and robust declaration that the two aspects are linked. If business and economy are to thrive, communities need to thrive too. Sharing models which map and show the clear interconnectedness of business strategic needs and community needs. Speaking about the sustainability of business and community as an expression of joint sustainability. Our board reports to clients are focused on impact measures for both the business and the community. We address boards now with our clients rather than middle or senior managers about the work we do in community. It elevates the community work to a level and allows the proposition to be heard in a more strategic business sense rather than a business doing good things or nice things. So what's the impact of this positioning that we have used? We've actually built a community sustainability model, which we share with our clients. We bring this business strategic needs to the forefront, and that has allowed the budgets to remain a priority for our clients. In COVID, not one of our budgets was cut. The budgets that were allocated for the work that we do was deemed a priority rather than a nice to have. The conversations are now more overt about finding mutual benefit. Rather than the business being shy about voicing their needs, they place these on the table for us to create win-win solutions. This is more authentic and trust is built through these kinds of transparency. The communities have their dignity because it's not a charitable cause. The value of the community to the business, which is thriving, is now an overt outcome which is shared by all. Accountability within the project is now a principle we use overtly. It's a business transaction where everyone has a say and everybody can have benefit. Our community client relationships look like this over and above our normal consulting work, um, our big community projects. In one of the provinces, we're in year 15, 
And it's just been for a big expansion motivated by our clients, not by us or the community. In another province, we're in year four and presently accessing community trust budgets for an additional 15 years. In another province, we're in year three and we're growing budgets and impact. Our brief when we went there from our client was, we don't know exactly what you do, but just do what you do and this is the budget that's um, that's been allocated. Sorry. Let me go back. Three new communities are coming online. Five businesses are consolidating all their budgets to create impact in three communities rather than disparate offerings with dispersed impact. Some of the languaging that we use, and I thought this might be helpful, long-term skills development in the community feels like we're working with schools, working in early childhood development, working in youth. We do digital knowledge management and our schools consistently perform above national average. That has a direct impact on community sustainability. Our client understands this as it being a skills trajectory for our client who have scarce skills requirements in the short, medium and long term and who also need community employment stats to increase in order for the community to be interdependent with them rather than dependent. Small business development in the community feels like and is experienced as circular economies for growing economic maturity and increasing self-reliance. For our clients, they see small business development as other avenues for employment, creating community stability. Regulatory requirements are a big one. The community and businesses uh, in the community have regulatory needs, but so does our business. In the community itself, small businesses are meeting regulatory requirements, which increases their ability to remain sustainable and access funding and income streams. For our business, the work that we do in the community meets all of their integrated reporting requirements, as well as something that's called in South Africa the social license to operate. If you have a business that sits in the heart of the community, the community itself has the ability to stop your business from thriving. And so they work really hard with us to get, whilst not a regulatory requirement, social license to operate in the business. So what have we learned? Depth work is the only way to create real sustainability. This is people work. We also have scaled approaches. I thought I'd pop up as we end. We have scaled approaches, but we know that this impact will be different. Positioning our work in the right way to meet the right audience at the right time for the right message to come across has been critical. It's provided opportunities for messages to land on the right desks and the right decisions to be made for all. Overnight success requires commitment to at least 10 years of brand building through impact, where the work is now speaking for itself. All of our work that comes to us and all of our clients have been by word of mouth and testimonies of impact. Teams to do this kind of work takes time and commitment. We now have 50 technical and relationship associates from around the country who work with us. They understand our work and can build with us. This has taken us 16 years. Relationships are critical to succeed anywhere. Nothing is too small to make an impact and no person is too small to create the ripple of change that's required. This is very hard work. It's complex, it's difficult, it's draining work. Working on the ground to rebalance systemic injustice and bring back real flow and growth for everyone is hard work. This work is not for everyone. Choose your teams wisely for your own sustainability. Thank you very much.